morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose, and today I will introduce you to a cool button designer. I'm the lead developer for, for the cool button designer, and it was my idea to develop a program like that. So this program basically is dedicated to the web uh, webmasters, web designers, um, any other graphic designers, even the programmers. When you um, uh, programming your own uh, graphic interface, you can use cool button designer to build your own button and save it as a template and in the future use that template. So basically cool button designer is a program that allows you to create a uh, cool looking buttons in about like two or five minutes and there is no extra skills or specific skills for you to, to need to know so it's pretty simple straightforward first you click in file new button and you naming this button so I'm gonna name it 400 uh, by 55 and you can uh, type the name of the button and this name going to be reflected on the uh, on the uh, file name if you would like to sa save this button with the uh, press statement mouse press statement mouse over statement create some extra effects you need to have that name because that's how um, cool button designer will save this uh, animation into multiple files like uh, file cool button press statement uh, cool button uh, normal state when you don't click anything and cool button um, mouse over and I'm gonna explain to you in a minute what it's all about so we're gonna create the button and we're gonna uh, see how it's gonna look like we have the visual our button is over here in this little uh, window so then we can click button shape we can select from the custom shapes we can do our own shape and uh, uh, basically we need to create a black and white image everything was going to be uh, black will be on our shape and everything was going to be white it's not gonna is going to be invisible or um, we can use this shape right here that we having and which is fine for now and I'm gonna create I can choose the styles that I can go with and the way the utilizing uh, the edge smoothing will work on those styles we can see sharp or smooth right and um, if the shape is not square for instance shape is like this um, we can control the corner sharpening as you can see can adjust that the way I want it let's keep it that way all right um, button resizer uh, it's where I can resize my button and let me resize it to something like that to this size right um, visual render visual render it's a uh, pre-built it um, as basically visuals for the button that we can choose from like a template too and you can just read the names and get an idea and I'm gonna demonstrate you real quick so you can see you don't need the Photoshop to build a cool looking, looking button you can use the cool button designer and the result is going to be amazing as you can see in a seconds and just in minutes without knowledge even Photoshop or extra graphical knowledge just using my program so I like this cool looking button alright and um, I can do the button color and as again I ex told you about the normal mouse over and mouse click states and here we go we can uh, adjust our button internal normal colors the way it's gonna look like then we can adjust the when we're gonna put the mouse over how it's gonna look like and let's say I would like to have it like a uh, greenish you can see and then you can adjust the mouse click when you're gonna click on it what it's gonna do it's going to turn blue so um, 
So all, if I would like to save my button, uh, when I'm going to click save, uh, a cool button designer will create three files, um, which is normal state, mouse over, and mouse click, and a little code for you if you're a web designer so you can implement this code with the assets of those images which cool button designer will create and to make this button um, w uh, work on a website you know so like all those statements work on a website so or to make this button works on a website so as you can see it's pretty cool looking button so far you can also create the textures and you can apply the textures on a button let me show it to you any images you can apply and you can field you can inside you can outside as you can see outside of the button and let's say inside and you can even the light uh, texture exposure uh, tell the button how much light it would like would, would like to expose on the button clear it all right and uh, next light properties it's where you can adjust the light um, direction color and the visibility size and location as you can see I'm, I'm changing that it's pretty simple all right and over here I can change where it's gonna display let's say over here nicely and I'm gonna move just a little bit over here right I can even uh, bring make it longer or adjust the height a little bit more to bring more 3d looking thing to it I can also the control the light color let's say I would like to have a yellow it's going to be yellow all right so you got an idea of that all right at hyperlink it's where you're gonna add the website and if you'd like to add the website and person will click it's gonna bring them to that website and in the end cool button designer will uh, print uh, uh, print you that uh, code for you to copy and paste whatever you like so let's say I'm clicking right now it doesn't bring me anywhere I'm gonna add link and click now it's gonna open the post my image website and it's gonna load the post my image website alright just because I said so over here so um, alright so we got an idea on that and uh, add text button it's where you adding the text and let's say uh, we'll say subscribe even for the YouTube users check it out subscribe you can open a business you can make the subscribe buttons and using my software it's just an idea <laughs> probably somebody's just gonna pick up on that idea as you can see I can adjust the font and then I can adjust the normal state mouse over and press state colors of my font let's say it's white for now then I would like to when you put in mouse over yellow and when you're clicking it's going to give a red like that alright and you can adjust some effects like bring shadows and with the effect multipliers adjust that shadow as you can see I'm adjusting the shadow right or beveled engraved glow glow effect you can even control with the multiplier and glow beveled glow engraved glow shadowed alright you can adjust the text position whatever you would like to see that text let's say over here and let me make it maybe a little bit um, bigger in size and I'm gonna just go shadowed adjust shadow just a little bit and not bad not not bad looking button so far huh alright and then text highlight you can adjust the text shadow color instead of black we can make yellow let's say as you can see it's shadow is yellow Right, and um, text glow color if you're gonna use some glow options like click over here you can adjust that uh, white to let's say yellow and we can have the text border and text border shadow 
so it's going to generate the shadow for this um, border and we can adjust the color as well you can also um, use the transparency and it's going to bring the transparency to the letters on the button bottom uh, so here we go button has some transparency looking cool looking design so far and with the shadow check it out it's not bad so the first uh, 15 users that will email me at support at mrzmedia.com will get this um, program for free exclusive license from me so email me and claim it that you saw it on YouTube put your first name last name and thank you so much for watching as again my name is Alexander Moroz bye bye now